that this case is a complex case and decisions have to be made. My client at the time that he first cooperated with the police had no cooperation deal. He had no promises from the district attorney's office. And in fact, a lot of the individuals who we now know were involved were only come to light as a result of the information he shared. Uh, whether or not people think that he deserves jail time or not, I'll leave it to others to decide. Um, I don't think that he got the break that they think he got in the fact that he's going to be looking over his shoulder the rest of his life for something that he participated in at the age of 20. So, Mr. Gonzalez, you represent Michael Reyes, known as Sosa. The defense is going to cross-examine him. Do you think he'll get beaten up? I think the defense will try to make whatever points they think they need to do to represent the interests of their clients. Um, I don't expect that it's going to result in much because I, I believe that the facts support and the evidence supports a lot of what Michael has already offered up to the jury. Some people are upset by the deal that he got, that charges will be dismissed if he truthfully testifies. I mean, I understand the emotion, the sentiment behind it. Um, you know, we have to understand, I mean, that this case is a complex case and decisions have to be made. My client at the time that he first cooperated with the police had no cooperation deal. He had no promises from the district attorney's office. And in fact, a lot of the individuals who we now know were involved were only come to light as a result of the information he shared. Uh, I, whether or not people think that he deserves jail time or not, I'll leave it to others to decide. Um, I don't think that he got the break that they think he got in the fact that he's going to be looking over his shoulder the rest of his life for something that he participated in at the age of 20. So I don't know if that's necessarily a great option. Is he nervous? Who wouldn't be? Um, he's being confronted by people he knows who participated in a horrific act, a senseless act, um, and asked to recount these particular circumstances. Um, it's certainly not easy, but I, I'm confident he's going to do it, and he's going to do it uh, with the candor that it deserves. And he's been in protective custody now since last June? He has been, un in, he has been in protective custody since his first meet with, since our first meeting with the district attorney's office. Oh, so that was after June? That was uh, as recently as uh, probably three days after the incident. So is it a jail-like setting? Uh, I'm not going to comment on the setting. I'm not going to offer up anything else. What about his family? Are they being protected? Uh, I'm not going to comment. Okay. All right. Anything else you'd like to say in summation? That I, I, again, I, I understand the emotionalism. Um, I, I, I understand the passion by which the community feels against my client. I'm not going to make any excuses for what he did or what he participated in. That's not my job. My job is to represent the interests of my client, and I believe that this is the best possible option for him. And, and truthfully, I also believe for the case. Thank you.